Hello, DC fans, and welcome back to Nerd Doc. James Gunn has officially announced the first set of projects in the new DC universe, and this video will go over what we currently know about those projects. Gunn has dubbed all of this Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters, but this isn't the entire slate, so there's still more we don't know about just yet. While there are some remaining DCEU projects to wrap up, the first real project of the new DC universe will be Superman Legacy, releasing in theaters on July 11th, 2025. James Gunn is writing this movie, but a director has not yet been selected. While this will be a younger actor than Henry Cavill playing Superman, it will not be an origin story. The movie focuses on Superman, balancing his Kryptonian heritage with his human upbringing. Batman will also be featured in the new DCU with the Brave and the Bold movie. Ben Affleck won't return as Bruce Wayne, but Gunn is keen on having Affleck direct something for the DCU, so it could end up being this film. We'll have to wait a bit longer to find out. This new movie focuses on Bruce Wayne as Batman, with his son Damian Wayne as Robin. Bruce was unaware that Damian existed for the first 8-10 to 10 years of Damian's life, and this movie is the father-son story that comes from that new relationship. This will be the first of the Bat Family movies. So while no specifics were given, expect Batgirl and probably Nightwing and a few others to show up in the DCU over time. Speaking of families, we're getting a Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow movie as well. This will be based on the Tom King comic run from 2022, which showcases how different Supergirl is to Superman. Supergirl had to watch everyone around her die for the first 14 years of her life, which has made her much more hardcore and not the beacon of hope that some may be used to. It's a very different Supergirl story. There will also be a Swamp Thing movie, yes, you heard that right, that while somewhat separate from the rest of the DC Universe, will still be connected to the larger DCU in various ways. This has been labeled as a dark horror movie. We didn't get much in the way of further details, but at the moment none of these movies are planned to be rated R, despite the dark horror description. Finally on the film front, we have The Authority. This is a team of anti-heroes that hail from the Wildstorm comic label that DC purchased back in 1999. The team wants to do what's right, but they'll get the job done by any means necessary. The team was put together after Stormwatch, the Earth's defense force against aliens, was destroyed. Jenny Sparks from Stormwatch created the new group alongside Swift and Jack Hawksmoor, also from Stormwatch. They added new members Angelina Spica, aka The Engineer, Jerome Thorndike, The Doctor, as well as Apollo and Midnighter. Shifting to HBO Max, the new Lantern series is different from the previous Greg Berlanti Green Lantern series, which is now presumably cancelled. The new show focuses on Jon Stewart and Hal Jordan, and it's described as a true detective-like series. The show will mainly be based on Earth, probably for budgetary reasons, as the two lanterns unravel a mystery that will serve as the basis for much of the underlying DC Universe story throughout this initial chapter. It's also been said that other lanterns will show up, but they probably won't be the focus of the series. Wonder Woman's world will return with the Paradise Lost series. However, Wonder Woman is not the focus of this series and likely won't appear at all. The events of this series take place before Diana Prince is born and will unfold similar to Game of Thrones. There will be some political intrigue dealing with the society of all women and probably lots of backstabbing. Fans have been asking for it, and James Gunn is finally going to give it to them. A Booster Gold series is coming to HBO Max. Gunn described the character as imposter syndrome as a superhero. Booster Gold is a character from the future who's basically a loser. He travels back in time and uses future tech to be a cool superhero in the past, which is present day DCU. Now, before Superman Legacy kicks off the new DC Universe, Two shows will hit HBO Max as sort of a way to wrap up some of the previous DCEU content. Waller is the first series, a spinoff from Peacemaker, with some of the Peacemaker team showing up there as well. It's being written by Crystal Henry, who wrote some of the Watchmen HBO series, and Jeremy Carver, the creator of Doom Patrol. Since James Gunn is busy writing Superman Legacy, Waller will serve as a stopgap between Peacemaker Season 1 and the presumed eventual Season 2 of that series. Also coming before Superman Legacy is Creature Commandos, an animated series that focuses on military superhumans. There will be a human leader, a werewolf, vampire, Frankenstein's monster, and a gorgon. Weasel from the Suicide Squad will also be featured in this animated series. 
James Gunn has made it clear that this is all one connected universe. Actors will play their characters across film, TV, and even voice them in animation. However, no one actor will play multiple roles, which was a nod to the rumors of Jason Momoa playing Aquaman and Lobo. This probably means he's only playing Lobo, but we'll have to wait a little longer to find out where he lands. It was teased that we could get an Aquaman 3 after Lost Kingdom, but we'll see how Lost Kingdom does at the end of this year. Also, the Joker and the Batman sequels are still happening, with the Batman sequel now arriving on October 3rd, 2025. These will be classified as DC Elseworlds movies, meaning they are their own thing, disconnected from the main DC universe. So what do you think of the new DC Universe announcements? Would you rather have Henry Cavill back as Superman? What about adding in a Swamp Thing movie and bringing in Damian Wayne and the Bat Family? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. For now, that wraps up this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves DC Comics and films.